Tonight, the man presiding over former President Donald Trump's Fulton County election interference trial is now fighting for his job. Civil rights attorney Robert Patillo announced this week that he will challenge Fulton County Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee. Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon is live tonight outside the Fulton County Courthouse. So, Doug, could the issues surrounding Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis impact McAfee's chances here? Yeah, Blair, you would have to imagine it would be on the minds of voters when this race goes to the ballot on May 21st. You know, historically here in Georgia, incumbent judges really don't lose their seats very often. But if there's one thing we know about this election and diamond case, it's that nothing is normal. Robert Patillo has been practicing law in Atlanta for 15 years. And that's part of what uh, drove me to run in this race. Uh, because if you're practicing in the Fulton County Courthouse for 15 years, you start seeing a lot of issues in the Fulton County Courthouse. This week, Patillo announced he's challenging Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee. McAfee burst onto the world stage when the 34-year-old was tapped to preside over Fulton County's historic election interference case involving former President Donald Trump. Patillo, a radio and TV commentator, in addition to his work as an attorney, bills himself as a conservative Democrat and says he's voted all over the political board. He was clear his run isn't just about getting McAfee off the election case. He has a, a great record. I have no aspersions cast against him. I just simply think I can do a better job in this position. McAfee was appointed to the bench in 2022 by Governor Brian Kemp to serve a partial two-year term. Also on Thursday, the Fulton County Board of Ethics removed two complaints tied to the DA from their agenda, noting McAfee's pending decision as well as a state investigation at the Capitol. They said Willis is a state officer, so any complaints should be handled by state bodies, not the County Ethics Board. But I recognize that other proceedings in the legislative and judicial branches of Georgia state government are taking up the matter and reviewing this these actions with greater rigor and detail than has been presented in the complaints before us. Right, we were told about the removal of those two complaints just minutes before that meeting started. The Ethics Board referred to Article 6 of the Georgia State Constitution in determining that Willis was, in fact, a state officer, not an officer of the county. We're outside the Fulton County Courthouse. Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.